Hello out in YouTube land. This is Sean with Sugar Shack 7. We are going to continue with strange superstitions. This is part four. Make sure you go back and look at one through three. My question to you is this. Do you have any strange superstitions yourself that you follow? I myself, I really don't have any superstitions that I follow. I'll walk underneath the ladder all day long. I'll let any black cat walk in front of me. It doesn't bother me. I don't even think about this type of stuff, but maybe you do. Let us know in comments about the superstitions that you follow. Are you ready? Let's go. Number one, fingers cross for good luck. To cross one's fingers is a hand gesture commonly used for good luck, which makes sense since it was used during the ancient Christian persecution by believers to identify other believers as a sign of peace. Today, however, this has evolved to excuse the telling of white lies which may have its roots in the belief that the power of the Christian cross may save a person from being sent to hell for telling lies. Number two, unlucky number 13, not to be confused with the Friday the 13th, which is a superstition of the actual day, but similar in nature, this superstition simply states that the number 13 is associated with bad luck. That's why many architects refuse, some still do today, to design stairs that even ended with 13 steps or buildings that ended with a 13th floor. The fear of the number 13 is so real to many people that an actual phobia has been created to describe it. It's called triskai de capobia. Hmm. Number three, when you wish upon a star, the superstition involving wishing on the first star you see in the evening is somewhat uncertain. Some Europeans believe that the gods would occasionally peer down, and when they moved the sky, a star would escape and fall. The Greeks also believed that the stars were falling human souls, and it was lucky to make a wish on them. Number four, some people in Italy are said to fear Friday the 17th because a Roman numeral XVII can be arranged to make the word VIXI, which means my life is over in Latin. Number five, in Nigeria, they say it's bad luck to kiss a baby on the lips or they will grow up to be adults who drool. Yes, drool. Number six, in the state of Vermont, USA, many farmhouses built in the 19th century included slanted witch windows to keep witches out of the home. It was believed that witches could not fly through a tilted window. Number seven, vertical chopsticks. Never place your chopsticks vertically in a bowl of rice when visiting Japan. This formation is eerily similar to the formation of incense burning at a Japanese funeral and is therefore seen as a symbol of misfortune. Number eight, what's 40 minus one? In Afghanistan culture, the number 39 is associated with prostitution, and anything containing this number in public is painfully awkward. It is generally avoided whenever possible. Number nine, animal abusers. Romanian animal abusers are said to be cursed to have hairy babies. Number 10, unbroken eggshells can be used by witches to sink your ship. This superstition states that eggshells should be smashed in small pieces because if they are left intact, witches will use the shells as boats and conjure storms to sink ships. The superstition was so widely held that it was turned into a popular poem. Oh, never leave your eggshells unbroken in the cup. Think of us poor sailor men and always smash them up. For witches come and find them and sail away to sea and make a lot of misery for mariners like me. Number 11, sailing on Friday is a bad idea. Sailors are even cautious about days of the week, particularly Fridays. Taking to the sea on those days brings bad luck. This superstition was so widely believed that the tall tale was hatched saying that the Royal Navy commissioned a ship called the HMS Friday to calm sailors' fears. However, in 2007, the Navy officially issued a denial of the claim that the ship existed and the mint was put to rest. Number 12, in the UK, it is bad to put new shoes on 
A bed or a table comes from a tradition of dressing a corpse in new clothes and shoes and laying them out so everyone can give their respects. Number 13, in Thailand, don't leave your home if you hear a gecko. It is believed that the lizard is sending a warning about something bad that might happen to you. Number 14, two four-leaf clover. Though the origin of wishing over a four-leaf clover is lost to antiquity, it has long been a symbol of good luck and fortune. It has also been used in some traditions for finding a husband or a wife. The way this works for you single people is by first finding a four-leaf clover. Good luck with that one. If you happen to find one, then you must chew on it and then put it inside your shoe. After this, the luck powers activate and the first person you come in contact with after the activation will be your future mate. Word of warning, stay clear of anyone you don't want as your future mate. Superstitions, do you follow them? I myself do not, but we would love to hear from you what superstitions you follow and practice in your life. You all have an amazing day.